What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video and in this one I will be showing you what it's like to fly a fighter jet in DCS with a full force feedback stick because holy moly has my flying experience been completely transformed. Uh, now for those of you that have watched my previous videos about flying the Huey and how much I love using this force feedback stick for flying helicopters. Um, today it's time to finally talk about the meat and potatoes of flying a DCS and that is flying fighter jets. Now today I'll be flying the MiG-29 um, for a number of reasons. Uh, one, I believe that there is a number of aircraft that benefit from a full force feedback stick uh, more than others and the MiG-29 happens to be one of those which is an absolute gem and in my opinion the flying experience in this airplane is absolutely transformed with a full force feedback stick. Now, don't get me wrong, it is still absolutely incredible in whatever you fly. However, something like the F-18 or the Mirage 3000 that have a fly-by-wire system where the stick effectively stays in the middle uh, no matter what you do with it in terms of how you trim it um, and in terms of the feedback not really changing all that much uh, because it is a fly-by-wire aircraft. And therefore, the although the experience is still absolutely amazing, I want to reiterate that, that this stick is absolutely amazing for flying anything. Uh, but those aircraft definitely benefit far less than something like a MiG-29, uh, which is not fly-by-wire, something like the F-5, and even the Su-27 to a large extent, even though that is a fly-by-wire jet, uh, but it still provides a lot of feedback with its um, the movement of the stick itself, the physical stick um, for the pilot. Now, I'll, uh, I'll show you uh, that a little bit later on but today we're going to test out the MiG-29 and I'm going to show you all the amazing features of uh, being able to finally experience and feel what the aircraft is telling you through your hands. So without further ado let's get into it. We have two good engine sides. You're clear to disconnect the headset. We'll see you on the left with the pin. Thanks a lot. Alright, so here we are in the MiG-29 and the first thing I want to demonstrate to you with full force feedback is that you can see in its neutral trim state for takeoff, the MiG-29 stick is actually way further forward as it normally is for its operating speeds as well, let's call it between 600 and 800 kph. It's much further forward than its neutral position. Its neutral position for, for my stick here is right about here, so if I was flying the Huey this is where the stick would be. But it's not in the MiG-29. In the MiG-29 you have a lot less movement forward from the trim state. Um, than going backwards at most air speeds. So as you can see there's a lot more movement. Now if you were flying with a spring-loaded center stick like a Warthog say you wouldn't have that. You wouldn't understand that there would be a non-linearity between the flight controls forward and backwards um, that wouldn't be realistic. Um, and again that's immediately the benefit of using a full force feedback stick. So what we'll do now is we'll do a typical Ukrainian 1990s takeoff. We'll go 90% uh, and 1 on the brakes, release the brakes, ready now, full burn air, here we go, and we'll do a low transition, a low pass over a taxiway. Alright, pulling up now, between 8 to 10 degrees nose up, just stabilize it there, let the aircraft lift off, gears coming up, flaps are coming up, and we're starting our low transition turn here, and uh, just do a low pass over a taxiway. Alright. So let's get into the meat and potatoes of flying the MiG-29, other aircraft too, but uh, in this particular case MiG-29 with full force feedback. So um, one cool thing that's modeled here, and this information comes straight from Eagle Dynamics, is the SOS in Russian, uh, the SOS system which is there to prevent the aircraft or the pilot from exceeding max alpha. So and stalling the aircraft. So what we'll do is we'll pull back a lot, right? And we'll slow down, we'll pull back. And look what happens to my stick if I try to exceed the maximum alpha. You see what happens? I'm not pushing it forward. This is the system. This is the sauce system pushing it out of my hand going forward. I'm just trying to pull it back, but it's pushing forward. You see that's happening in the aer airplane and also with my stick. And that gives me immediate feedback and I understand that I'm right on the edge of stalling the airplane. Um, and I can modulate it there and keep it just a little bit less than that um, to prevent it from doing so if I want to. 
and I just get absolutely beautiful um, immediate feedback. And this is one of the great things about flying with a force feedback stick, is that you genuinely feel like you're in control of a real airplane. You genuinely don't feel like you're flying with some joystick uh, like I had before. You actually feel like these are hydraulic boosters now. Now obviously all of this is tunable and not all information is given to you by Eagle Dynamics for uh, the force feedback. So at the moment we have a bit of a science and a black art with um, getting this to work well and uh, it effectively um, means that you kind of have to tweak it a little bit but you can use presets if you're using FFBs which is this stick you can use uh, presets for example that I created or other people have created and now for example I can show you if we do inverted flight I can centralize I can get that VSI on zero really nicely and I got that nice pressure to work against when I'm pushing forward and I just it just there's so much precision the name of the game with full force feedback is precision um, and I'll demonstrate to you that now if we go and do let's say a high alpha pass um, I'll, in fact before we do the alpha pass let me demonstrate to you the trim system so if I wanna let's say stabilize at 450 kph here somewhere roughly so there's 460 there's get the 450 here we go okay so I'm gonna trim it out now and I've got the VSI on zero right so I've got the airplane pretty much trimmed out so I'll just give it a dab of trim there just another little dab of trim there we go right so look I'm not touching the controls aircraft is trimmed I'm now going to accelerate forward so what I'm gonna do is I'm not I'm just gonna trim I'm not pushing forward in the stick I'm just gonna trim it for a new airspeed look what happens both in this in the real aircraft and with my stick right it actually moves it displaces exactly the way it's supposed to now if we transition beyond Mach 1 now you'll see I'll need a lot of forward trim so here we go look transitioning through Mach 1 and look how far the stick is now moving in its trim state I'm still trimming forward and we're still climbing and I'm still trimming forward and look this is the trimmed state for 1.2 Mach and as you can see I've got very little travel now to push the nose down and I know exactly what's happening with the airplane simply through my hand because I can see it and I can feel it and it, it's just absolutely incredible um, because you know I don't even need to be looking at how fast I'm going I can feel it because I can feel how far my hand has moved now fly-by-wire airplanes such as the F-18 and the Mirage 2000 not going to give you that because in the, uh, when you trim them they are simply not going to um, they're not going to displace the stick forward uh, in the same way now I have to trim back and look the, the stick is coming back and now I've trimmed it you know to its new slower speed um, now for example another good feature if you want to use let's call let's say the autopilot so let's engage the autopilot there uh, there we go and there right now I let go of the stick look look what's happening the airplane is now um, using the autopilot system and displacing the stick however it needs this is the attitude hold but let's just say if I was to you know displace it again the stick is moving here physically right so let's say I was in a cloud and I was looking our to the side somewhere I just with my hand I could feel what the autopilot is doing what the airplane is doing uh, which is amazing that's just something that you do not get um, so let's just get rid of the autopilot now and we'll do a uh, high alpha pass and then we'll come in for land uh, for a landing at the base and I'll just show you again the precision that you have uh, flying high alpha. Now, one thing about the MiG-29 specifically, uh, which I believe is wrong. Um, so I actually love flying this airplane. This is my favorite airplane to fly now in DCS with full force feedback. Um, and I think the flight dynamics, the way it flies, is just so, so, so like the real thing. But it does feel twitchy with the flight controls, and that's nothing to do with force feedback. That's just any, any joystick you have. Uh, the MiG-29 is too twitchy, in my opinion, compared to the real aircraft. My personal, very humble opinion. And uh, what we'll do now is, we'll kick in the burner, come back around the corner, and then we'll do a high uh, alpha barrel roll and a uh, high alpha pass. Alright, so let's do a high alpha roll here. Roll out onto the runway center line ish if we can of course and we're looking for about 220 kph about 20 degrees nose up so now I'll get the speed brake out and I can feel the vibration in the stick that the speed brake is out it's perfect because I'll never forget that I've retracted if I haven't retracted the speed brake 
I know that because I can feel it, the vibration through my hand, and that's what happens in the aerial airplane. Say, for example, my Boeing um, that I fly at work. If I extend the speed brake, I can feel the vibration in the stick. Right, so here we go. 20 degrees nose up, VSI's on zero. Stabilize at 220 if we can. There's 220. And look, VSI's basically bang on zero there. Just a tiny descent. Here we go. And I've stabilized it. Look how easy this is. And this is just because I have that um, modulation in the stick, which is just so, so easy. Unlike a spring loaded stick, where off center you'd be trying to fight with your, you know, with your muscles just to try and get that. A uh, tiny bit, tiny bit of precision, um, and obviously you can have a hard spring too that wants to try and get the the, the stick back uh, to the center. So now I'll trim forward, and I can see again. You see, I see exactly what's happening with the airplane. I feel exactly what's happening with the airplane, and we'll come back and we'll come in for landing. Um, so if I haven't sold it to you already, guys, I, the, <laughs> this. This is a 1,000 time improvement in flying an airplane. It actually feels like you're flying a real airplane. Um, like I say, it's still a little bit of a black art uh, in terms of, you know, exactly... So I'll just do a high alpha roll here. And we'll get the, the gear out, then the flaps out. And we'll come in for a short approach um, onto this runway. Uh, yeah, like I say, if I haven't sold it already, it's just it's just a thousand time improvement. Now, fortunately, you know, like I say, we don't have all the force feedback information for each module, um, but there's enough there uh, at the moment that you can mess around with it and, and tune it to your own liking or what you think should be the case um, and how realistic it should be. Now, like I say, MiG-29 here, a little bit twitchy, a little bit more twitchy, I think, than it should be, but... We'll try and come in for for a touchdown. See if we can get. It's very difficult to get a smooth touchdown. The 29 I feel DCS. Um, sure as hell, gonna try. Oi! Landed on the left gear first. Um, and a second secondary touchdown. <laughs> right, shoots coming out. Just lower the nose gently. And there we go. Um. So honestly, I just don't have enough words for how good it is. If you guys are interested, the link is in the description. FF Beast. It's currently available for pre-orders, and uh, I just can't recommend it enough. Can't recommend it enough. Um, no, it's not perfect. Um, nothing is, uh, but it, it, in so many ways, it's so great uh, that it, it's like a thousand times better than anything you've ever experienced. Um, and the, the beauty is, of course, each and every aircraft now feels completely differently. Um, so we'll just... We'll just uh, get the taxi light on. And you need to retract the uh, the flaps in the MiG-29 to get the full nose wheel authority for whatever reason. Um, and uh, we'll just get rid of the shoot there. And we'll taxi back. Um, so if you have any kind of questions about this system, you know, or, or FFB system, you'll feel free to comment down below. I'll see if I can answer whatever I can. I will do a proper review of this um, stick, you know, with a, especially using the software, because you do get software with it where you can tune different effects, uh, like say, for example, the vibrations, and when you touch down, and when you're rolling on the ground, there's a vibration going through your hand, and things like that, which just um, amplify or, or really improve your, your experience just so massively and drastically. Um, that you know you can play around with the software and you can play around with the dampening you can play around with you know the force um, you can have a lot of force um, uh, and it's really amazing especially if you guys fly something like you know the Mustang or the Spitfire any kind of piston aircraft you know when you're sitting on the ground the stick just moves around freely and easily um, and then when you get up to speed uh, in a dive or something it's so stiff on center that you know, have to use a lot of force to pull out of it um, and that prevents you from, you know, s sort of stalling the airplane so easily like you do in a regular uh, joystick, um, which is spring-loaded because you don't have any feedback whatsoever. You don't understand how much you have to pull um, to overcome the forces in those piston airplanes at high speed, and therefore it's, uh, you know, you just you just break the stall and you stall immediately, and that's just something totally unrealistic, of course. And you just have to you just have to kind of live with it if you have a spring-loaded uh, center stick um, 
like you know most people do and I am just I'm just in awe about how good this is in general um, if you fly the F-18 or the Mirage 2000 those are the, the sort of airplanes which benefit the least um, from the system because you don't have the stick moving back and forth in your hands um, when you trim it and you just don't get that uh, that incredible feedback but you do get the feeling of, of you know, the, of a real jet in your hands. Um, so I, I highly recommend it. Oh, and by the way, if you guys are interested, uh, the textures here uh, on this map, that's the Bartex uh, Caucasus Redone. And I'll leave a link in the description below. It's my favorite map now, flying with uh, Bartex textures. And if you're looking at the weather and thinking, oh, this is not a preset that we have, in DCS, uh, you're right. It's a mod as well. Um, I think it's by mm, I forget the name now. Um, I think it's Bandit Six Four Eight, but I'll link it in the description below. And uh, this this guy has just done, given us more presets, more cloud textures, more more uh, more cool looking um, presets uh, that you can uh, that you can download. And uh, just, you know, I use OVGME, or however you pronounce it, um, as a mod manager. And in fact, we'll just go... We'll get the nose wheel steering on, and we'll just taxi back here behind these SU-24s to our stand. And um, this airbase, I've kind of redone it. I've deleted a whole bunch of the original objects. And uh, in fact, let's just uh, get the taxi lights off here so we don't blind anybody but I've redone it and these are the VPC um, airfield object mod uh, static objects here to get the realistic kind of Russian Soviet style uh, airbase theme going on um, and in the future videos I'll be using this base for a whole bunch of MiG-29 training missions because I've been reading the MiG-29 Russian MiG-29 pilot manual from the 1990s and uh, if you're interested in seeing the real world MiG-29 procedures uh, ahead of the full fidelity MiG-29 coming out uh, then feel free to subscribe for future videos and you can check those out um, because I've been learning a lot about MiG-29 since it's now my favorite jet to fly in DCS. So, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions, uh, then please post them down below. And also, please make sure to check out FF Beast. I'll link the uh, I'll link it in the description and in, in the comment as well, so you can go and have a look, uh, check out this absolutely awesome uh, force feedback base for your joystick. And like I say in the future, I'll do a proper review of that. Um, but before that, I think you'll see a few more videos of me just flying airplanes uh, with uh, my emotions. Uh, as to how awesome it feels and what sort of capabilities it brings to your flying experience. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, please smash the living daylight of like button if you could, subscribe for future videos, and I shall catch you in the next one. Adios!